So, keyword research, probably one of the most important parts of your YouTube uploading workflow. You need it to optimize your videos for search to get more views initially if you don't have a lot of subscribers or even if you have a lot of subscribers. Well-optimized and researched keywords will help your videos to gain views well into the future. So in this video, we are going to be doing just that. So in a few seconds, I'm gonna jump to the computer and I'm gonna show you how I am doing one of my keyword researches for you to have a good understanding how it's actually done and what you need to be paying very close attention to. Because for some reason, not a lot of people actually are teaching you exactly how to do it and what works and what doesn't. Okay, I will not waste any more of your time. Let's go. So hello and welcome back. This is the last week's video that we are going to be optimizing for keywords and I'm going to be showing you how you can actually get the keywords for this video. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using vidIQ because at the moment I'm subscribed to only vidIQ Pro. I'm not subscribed to TubeBuddy Pro at the moment. It doesn't matter for TubeBuddy, it will work in a similar way, but there's some things in vidIQ that TubeBuddy is simply uh, not doing and there are things that in TubeBuddy that vidIQ is not doing, but we're going to be talking about this a bit later. So first things first, you need to understand what we need to do. What does keyword research Research means. So contrary to the belief, keyword research is not finding the tags for your videos right here. These are the tags. This is not the keyword research. Keyword research is the keywords, the main words that your video will be searched by. So in this case, let's say TubeBuddy versus VidIQ in 2021. I actually already chose the title for this one, but I'm going to be showing you how I chose this. Basically, these are the words that people are looking for. So, and you need to use them as often as possible and as variety as possible in your title titles and in your description. So this is the main thing that we are doing. So I'm going to be jumping into uh, my vidIQ dashboard. I'm going to go and search for keywords. And what I need to do is I need to let vidIQ or TubeBuddy for that matter, understand what I'm looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for vidIQ versus TubeBuddy. You can do this directly in a browser, but I'm doing this here because there is one thing that browser extension vidIQ is not showing you and it's this related score, meaning that how related these keywords are with each other. So more related they are, more people are going to be clicking the similar type of video. For example, if people are clicking vidIQ versus TubeBuddy, because TubeBuddy versus vidIQ is so similar, they're most likely to click this one as well. So basically meaning that how different keywords are crossing each other. And this is what related score means. So there are two things that you need to concentrate on while doing a keyword research. First is search volume right here, meaning that how often this video is being searched. And second is competition, meaning that how competitive this keyword is, meaning that how many videos there are. So in the ideal case, you need to, to want to have search volume as high as possible and competition as low as possible. And for that reason, to give you a very good average between those two, VidIQ is actually doing the overall score. TubeBuddy is doing the same thing as well. So you need to find a very good middle ground between those two. And despite VidIQ actually showing you the words of the competition, they actually have the score for the competition, meaning that if the score is very low, that means the number is very low. That means the competition is very low. And if, if the score is very high, let's say in the medium, like 46 or 70, uh, uh, 7 is very high competition. So you need to stay a bit away from those. What I do usually is I take the keyword that I want to rank for, I think that will be the best fit for my video, meaning that I, th what I think that people will be looking for. And then I start by breaking them according to their overall scores, meaning that the average between their search volume and competition. And then I go through the keywords and find the words that I think will be the best fit not just a random keywords that I think might be there because I'm not going to be using those keywords. For example, there is the highest ranking with the search volume and the competition is vidIQ crack. For the ones who don't understand what does crack in this case means, it means that basically pirating vidIQ. I'm not teaching anyone how to pirate the vidIQ in this video, right? I'm not doing this. So using this keyword, will be irrelevant. And plus, if I use this in title, it will be very irrelevant as well. Plus, you see the related score is very low. It's not very related to this video. So meaning that people will less likely click my video. They will less likely see my video with the under VidIQ crack if I use VidIQ versus TubeBuddy in a title. So meaning that you need to find something that is high in search volume, 
low in competition and more or less related in a keyword. So in this case, it's just VidIQ, just VidIQ without anything is pretty good bad because it's, well, it's understandable. We're talking about VidIQ as well. TubeBuddy versus VidIQ, it's not very useful to use this, but you can use this in your descriptions for, so for uh, YouTube to understand that this actually video is also about TubeBuddy versus VidIQ and VidIQ versus TubeBuddy, the same thing, but still uh, using this will be very useful. YouTube SEO 2021, it's less related, but in your mind, you need to think for yourself as well, not just based on the related score the VidIQ is actually giving to you. You need to think in your mind as well, is this actually related to this or not? And it is because people are using VidIQ and TubeBuddy for SEO purposes. So SEO 2021 will be great as well. Content marketing, using this in title, mm, it might not be that great. Then come down, lead generation, no, TubeBuddy Pro is okay, but using this will not be that great. In my case, like VidIQ versus TubeBuddy and YouTube SEO 2021 is probably one of the best bets that I can give it. So what I can do is I can go back to the title and instead of TubeBuddy versus VidIQ in 2020, by the way, always find out which one has a higher search volume, like which variation. So in this case, TubeBuddy versus VidIQ has 54,000 search volume and VidIQ versus TubeBuddy has 39,000 search volume. So I'd rather use this one in this case. So go back and TubeBuddy versus VidIQ in 2021. Which which one is, uh, let's go like this. Which one is better for YouTube SEO in 2021? As you can see, we have pretty long tail title and you see that it's actually covering two main keywords. First is TubeBuddy versus VidIQ and the year as well, because people are looking the year as well. For example, because I have the similar video in 2019. So people would more likely click this one than 2019 version. So you need to show that this video is actually newer. So that's why you use the years. It's very often it's, it's it's a trick that I often use uh, by putting the year in the title on my other channels because usually if the, there is very big competition from older videos, putting the year in a title will actually help you to rank a bit higher. And which one is better for YouTube SEO? This is a very useful word as well. And plus people might be looking for which one is better as well. Which one is better than TubeBuddy and VidIQ? They might be using these words as well. And YouTube SEO in 2021 is basically the same keyword that we're using right here. So this is how we craft the title. Find the best keyword that we think will be the best fit. So in this case, YouTube SEO in 2021 has very low competition, pretty high uh, search volume. This is the monthly search volume, by the way. And if you think about this, if you combine this two, so basically, your videos might be getting around 100,000 impressions just from search every single month. Might be. You, you are not. You most likely, if you're a smaller channel, you're most likely not going to get this amount. But if you'll get even 1% of this one, this is a thousand views just like that. And plus, this is a very long term. It will work for an entire year. If there is nothing will change, you can actually change the year in the title and nothing will happen. Because if it's the same thing in next year, in 2022, you don't need to make new video in, in, in the year 2022. You just change the year number in a title and change the title of the video and it will most likely rank again. Now, let's talk about the tags. Would you want to use tags in your videos or you need to focus on just keywords and like in title and description? By the way, I didn't put anything in the description, but because we're not talking about the overall video optimization in this video, this will be in the future. But just know that I will put the same keywords in uh, the description. And plus uh, one more trick, I'm going to use it in the topics in this video. So this is this is what I use as well to have some, some kind of like a tags in your within the description as well. Now about the tags, do you need need tags in your video. From what I've seen, from what I've done uh, on my videos, from the all the comparisons that I uh, did with the tags, without the tags, with long tail keywords, short, short tail keywords, using the uh, keywords in title description without using titles and descriptions and only tags, I found out the tags are not playing any significant role in the ranking of your video. That's what I found out. My research might be flawed. Actually, Videku themselves said the tags do not work that well, but I am still using tags because of two reasons. First, if I'm wrong, I'd rather have redundant tags there than just have nothing. And second, you can actually see the ranking of your video in that particular keyword within the tags 
by using TubeBuddy and VidIQ. Let me show you. Now I opened uh, one of my older videos about the VidIQ, actually this is the 2020 review. And if I go to the tags and scroll down, as you can see, it actually shows you the ranking for the different keywords that you use. So it's act it actually shows you all the rankings. For example, I rank number one in a VidIQ review. Actually, the green ones are TubeBuddies and uh, blue ones are the VidIQs. They are different because they are counting different videos under rankings or not. For example, I think from what I've seen, sometimes both TubeBuddy and VidIQ count the promoted videos in the ranking as well. So for example, if you go and search and go through the first five or six videos, you're gonna see three or four other promoted videos. For example, the videos that might be interest for you or something like that, or in a similar topic or something like that. So sometimes they count this, sometimes they don't because sometimes you see those videos and sometimes you don't. So you need to like think like, sometimes it's like some people will see the vidiq 2020 this video under number five sometimes they will see under number 16 so you should understand that this should be somewhere between them between the highest and the lowest low in this case i mean the vidiq review it says that it's number one in the regular one and with a key review in 2020 this says the number one as well so this is why i'm using the tags for so i understand that i'm actually ranking for these tags and for that reason i know because i know that i can rank for these tags now i know that I, this keywords actually work for me and ranking either number 23 or number 31 in under the term vidiq is actually a very big big thing because vidiq's channel itself is actually ranking for these videos as well and being there is actually a pretty big accomplishment, especially for the channel of my size. Plus, when I made this video, uh, I had like 200 subscribers or probably even less. So this is a pretty big accomplishment. This is how you do keyword research and that's how it's done. As you can see, researching keywords is not that difficult task. All you need to do is just have a very good vision of what your viewers want to see and want to click. Very simple and very easy thing to do. And this will help you to craft amazing titles and descriptions for your videos to gain as many views as you possibly can. Again, links to VidIQ or TubeBuddy, whatever you want to use, will be in the description down below. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. This is actually the sixth video that I recorded back to back. See ya.